In the village of Ajama, there lived a man named Opotun. His name foretold greatness, yet his journey was marked by an inner struggle. Two spirits lived within him, each pulling his soul in opposite directions. One spirit was called Cain, the bringer of sorrow, a doubt, and confusion. The other was Abel, the spirit of hope, faith, and strength. It was said that Cain whispered lies of defeat into Opportune's ears, while Abel spoke life-giving words of possibility and power. For years, Opportune walked the red earth of his village with heavy feet. Cain's voice was strong, filling his heart with clouds of doubt. You will never make it. You are not enough, Cain would whisper, weaving shadows in Opportune's mind, wrapping him in the chains of depression. Every time Abel rose up, whispering, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Cain would rage. He would shake Opportune's spirit, leaving him confused and weary. One day, after many struggles, Opportune found himself standing at the edge of the great Lake Umoja. The sun was setting, painting the sky in hues of gold and crimson. Cain had driven him here, him with despair. There is no future for you, Cain hissed. Your dreams will drown just like the sun fades into the water. Why do you even try? You are nothing. Opportune knelt by the water, his reflection trembling in the ripples. It felt as if Cain had finally won, leaving Abel silent. But as the wind stirred the reeds, Abel's voice returned, soft but strong. Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you, Abel recited from Isaiah 41 verse 10. The words echoed deep within opportune soul. Cain laughed. Where is your help? Look around you. You are alone. But Abel was not done. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, Abel spoke again. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. With each word, Gopotun felt a stirring in his chest, a fire that Cain's darkness could not extinguish. For I know the plans I have for you, Abel continued, quoting Jeremiah 29 verse 11, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Cain grew silent. His power began to fade, drowned in a sea of depression and defeat. He believed he had won, believed he had silenced Abel for good. But for three days, Opportune fasted and prayed, drawing strength from the word of God. He held on to Abel's promises with a firm grip. In his heart, he repeated, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. On the third day, a miracle happened. As the dawn broke, Opportune stood at the very same lake, but this time his spirit was ablaze with faith. He stepped out in faith, shaking off the chains that Cain had placed on him. The darkness lifted, and for the first time, Opportune saw clearly. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, he declared boldly, as the rising sun washed over him. From that day forward, Opportune pursued his dreams with the full strength of Abel's spirit. He became a doctor, healing the sick in his community, touching lives with his hands of compassion. But he didn't stop there. In his free time, he became a minister of the gospel, teaching his people to be strong in Christ, to stand firm in faith, and to recognize the power of God's promises. He would tell them, when the voice of Cain rises up to tell you that you are not enough, remember the word of God. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made that the Lord is your shepherd and you lack nothing. The village marveled at his transformation. They could see the light in his eyes, the strength in his walk whenever someone asked how he overcame, Opportune would smile and say, it is not by my might, nor by my power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. When Cain tries to rise, I remind him that the battle has already been won, for the Lord has promised, I will never leave you nor forsake you. In the heart of Africa, under the vast blue skies, Opportune's story became a legend. It was said that even when Cain whispered in the shadows, he could no longer prevail. 
For Abel, the spirit of faith had risen, and with him, opportune walked boldly into his destiny. I am more than a conqueror through Christ, he would say, and the people would answer, yes, you are. You too may face your own battles between doubt and hope, just like opportune. But remember, in no matter how loud the voice of fear or uncertainty gets, you are not alone. God's promises are your strength. With faith and perseverance, you have the power to rise above every challenge. Subscribe and share for more uplifting tales of faith.